Good morning. First, on behalf of all of us here in the city of Duncanville, we want to extend our deepest condolences to the family of Miss Regina Phillips. Next, I want to reassure the community that there is no immediate danger to the public. Throughout the investigation, we have determined that this was an isolated incident. On May 6, 2024, at 6.06 a.m., the Dunkville Police Department and Fire Department were dispatched to a structure fire at 611 Oriel Boulevard. Within minutes, officers and firefighters arrived at the scene. Firefighters quickly entered the apartment and located Ms. Phillips. Ms. Phillips was evacuated from the apartment and shortly after it was discovered that she suffered a gunshot wound to the head. Ms. Phillips was pronounced deceased at the scene by Duncanville Fire Department medics. During the investigation, it was revealed that our officers responded to the same location on Sunday, May 5th. That 911 call for service came out as a verbal disturbance between Ms. Phillips and a James Rias, a 63-year-old male. Officers investigated that call for service and determined Ms. Phillips and Mr. Rias had lived together uh, for several years. And based on their interviews and evidence, no family violence occurred at that incident. The officers followed department policy and completed a report documenting the incident. Our law enforcement team has worked tirelessly to gather information and piece together the events surrounding this tragic incident. Yesterday evening, our detectives obtained a signed murder warrant for James Rias. And Mr. Rias is currently in custody at Dallas County Jail with a $1 million bond. He was initially located returning to the scene and arrested for unrelated traffic violations. I want to conclude by saying we take the safety and security of our com uh, community very seriously. And this was demonstrated by the hard work of my officers and detectives. And with that, I'll entertain uh, some questions. So that's a fire department question. They're the ones that evacuated her. Um, I'll bring uh, interim fire chief Chase here to answer that. So when the crews entered the apartment complex or the apartment itself, uh, they initiated a search, found an unresponsive person in, inside the townhouse. I'll leave out the exact location due to the ongoing investigation. Due to the smoky conditions, they did bring that person outside and that's when they determined they couldn't provide any type of resuscitative efforts. Did you have a good idea she was in there or was it just a, a routine search? We do re routine searches all the time but there were reports that someone was inside at the time uh, so that did escalate the search efforts. What was the extent of the fire when you all got there? Uh, there was active fire inside the apartments or inside the apartment I'll leave it at that until the fire investigation is done that is also attached to the police investigation and there's been an arson investigation then do you believe that well, there are yeah I will state that it's a fire investigation until they determine it is arson so right now it's arson not at this time the fire marshal uh, Duncanville fire marshal the State Fire Marshal, I uh, believe they called in help from Cedar Hill and Lancaster Fire Marshals just due to the magnitude of the investigation with a fatality. They called in some extra help. Uh, they're continuing that investigation. They've sent, you know, gathered evidence just like the police have except on the fire side. No, ma'am, we don't have any idea on that. Uh, Chief, this is a question for you. Um, do we know what motive at this time? No, ma'am. Um, I'm, I'm not able to provide that at this moment. I will tell you that um, our investigators worked tirelessly to uh, conclude this investigation, um, and that's exactly what we did. So we've had a previous call at that location. I believe it was uh, March 3rd, 
involving Ms. Phillips and Mr. Rias, and it was a 911 advising, and she was the caller on this one, advising that they were having a verbal argument. Again, in that investigation, our officers concluded that there was no offense. Um, so it was documented, and Ms. Um, uh, Phillips left the location with her belongings that day. It is an unfortunate event. Our officers uh, went to the location, investigated it appropriately, um, and determined there was no offense. And that's ultimately our job. When they called you guys on, I think it was on the phone, they said, uh, what was the nature of, did they say the nature of the argument? Like, to the point of, it's a verbal spat, it could be a police or something. Uh, no, man, it was just a verbal argument. That, that's all it was. And she made that call to this as well? No, um, that was Mr. Rias called uh, Sunday for the verbal disturbance. What's next? Uh, what's next is uh, providing services to the family uh, to ensure that uh, they have what they need. Um, this case is uh, submitted to the Dallas County District Attorney's Office um, and our investigation is gonna continue.